Hello Tubes, I'm back here with this uh, Toro Tecumseh lawnmower. Um, it was still leaking uh, oil, as you may have seen in the previous uh, couple videos. Uh, I got it, I rebuilt the carburetor, um, cleaned out the carburetor, um, got it to run, and uh, fixed the oil uh, sump, I mean, the, the, uh, the um, crank seal, which is on the bottom of this. I mean, there it's still looking good anyway it was still leaking oil and not as much and it was leaking oil I'm gonna point with my screwdriver here around this area here um, not as, it, it wasn't leaking as much as it was before but it was still leaking oil so I said okay Gotta open it up because I'm gonna have to replace this this entire seal going around. I'm gonna have to use some uh, Permatex gasket maker. I've done this on a Briggs before, um, and it worked fine. Uh, but uh, when I opened it up, yeah, there was no. Sure and behold, there was not any um, any gasket along this area, so it was leaking there. So. Uh, well, some of you out there might be interested in, you know, this is what the inside of a Tecumseh engine looks like. It's very similar to a Briggs, but this is what a Tecumseh engine it looks like. All the bolts seem to be the wrong size or different, you know, undersized. Um, probably uh, so they can only have to make uh, certain size bolts. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I'm having a drop light right here to uh, give some more light to this. And I wanted to uh, show you all, all you YouTubers out there, what the timing marks look like. Um, let me see if I get this light. I'm dealing with, a, I'm self lighting here. Okay, this here is your crankshaft. I've got the adapter on it so I can turn it. And uh, this here is your camshaft right there. And this is your uh, weighted uh, governor, I guess. Um, sorry, it's awful hot here. And, um, but to show you, let me uh, take that off. How you time these, and Briggs are very similar to this. I've actually had to, had to do this on a Briggs as of recent. Let me see if I can hold the like I'm using this, a cell phone here. Can you all see? If you look, let me see if I can get this. Okay, you see a mark right there? So you can probably hardly see it, but there's a mark right there, I mean the weird gears. That is supposed to line up with this mark here, which lines up with this hole here. That makes, make, that, that times it, so that it's correct. Because you can take, uh, you know, this out, and this this cam cam gear you can just you can just pull out. I'm gonna leave it in, and um, so just wanted to have a short video here to show you all the insides of the Tecumseh engine and how to set the timing. Hello, tubes. I'm back here. Uh, I was cleaning out the in, in, inside of this, just the gaskets and some of the scraped the gasket off and some of the gaskets got back in. And I'm gonna have to put back in this cam gear. Just something I noticed. This is the Tecumseh engine. The cam gear, I mean the cam, is metal. In a Briggs, this is plastic. Uh, except for the actual gear part, that's plastic on a on a um, Briggs. But uh, this is, I uh, so this is sort circa 2000, uh, 2004, So the last. Uh, and Briggs, uh, it's a uh, this the, the these lobes here, um, which push these tappets up to in, uh, control the intake and outtake valves. There are certain places that uh, to make it go, to make it uh, where these lobes push up and down. But uh, they're metal. On um, Briggs, they're plastic, and I think Honda too. Now, just wanted to show you all what this looks like. 